we are gearing up for Labor Day, and lots of people, of course, plan on entertaining. And one of the easiest ways to do that is put little nibbles down. Kuhn, Vermalian chef, been joining us from Rayleigh's with lots of finger foods. This is how I Good like morning. to entertain. It's the fun <laughs> so part of entertaining, right? Party this yeah, day. you don't have to sit there at the barbecue or in the kitchen, slave, and maybe all your guests are at your house. So you, it's your holiday too, right? You want to enjoy it yourself. So prep a little bit ahead, and by the time your guests come over, you want to be a guest at somebody's house. You can bring something with you, and you can enjoy your day. Uh, what we got here, obviously, we got our purely made, you know, uh, private label. It's, it's all our chips and our dips here, a crab dip and an artichoke dip. These chips are made with better ingredients. That's why we call them purely made. So mm -hmm. it's healthier for you. More no. interesting things that yes, are in them, too. Exactly. Okay, so let's move down here. And certainly we, the deviled egg is the one, deviled of the, egg the is one, of the, one of the standards, right? Yeah, we have our Mediterranean veggies. It's actually a Brussels sprout. Not a lot of people like Brussels sprouts, but try those. A little bit of olive oil, some garlic, some smoked pepper. And then do you and roast it? You actually pre boil those, and oh. then you put it a little bit in the oven afterwards to roast it a little yeah. bit to get a crust on it, but it's phenomenal. Well, you could slice it up and throw it in a salad the next Correct. day, too. There you go. Too. It's never um, wasted. Real quick question on the eggs. How far in advance can you make those? I would never make them until the day, the night before you boil them, and <laughs> yeah. then that day you kind of open them up and okay. cut them. And I, can, I like to cut them this way instead of the lengthwise. It's kind of yeah. a little different. It's a little, different. A little easier to pick up and to bite on. You're so fancy. All right, how about this one here? This is our chicken strips. Uh, this, we call them chicken little. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> got minced celery in it and then the crumbled cheese. You roll them up and then put a hot uh, red wing sauce on it and put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Still, obviously, the chicken has to be totally done. Sure. But it's a good bite, hearty to eat, and it's really good. And so, if you have a spicier sauce, that blue cheese will mute that we'll taste mute a little taste bit. That. Which exactly. is nice if you have people exactly. who are maybe not, not everybody as good likes into it. a hot one. So. Cheese and cracker plate, always Cheese a and hit. cracker plate, one of my favorites, the Cypress Grove out of California. It's a goat cheese. They have a big array. We have a nice cheese department. People like cheese, trust me. They crack it in cheese. <laughs> or a glass if of you wine. hear one thing today, let it be people like cheese. Yes, yes you are definitely. correct. Um, some people are afraid of it, but it's really good to eat. Do you, um, when you put out a whole bunch of cheeses, are you one of these chefs who like cuts a little bit off? Because nobody wants to be the first person to like get you, into you, the you block. Kinda, if you have a cheese knife, I've got a block at home, and you kind of put the first knife in it, just yeah. cut it off, and then people are just good. And then they're good with it, yeah. right? Otherwise, okay. I'll be the first one to go for it. And everybody <laughs> follows. This is interesting to me. You've got the non bread, which mm. is wonderful, but you've put something kind of unusual on it. It's a uh, spreadable yogurt. Okay, it's it's really different, and then a little bit of paprika and some olive oil, and you rub it in there, and it's it's just it really good. It's really mild. It's, mm -hmm. it's not overly done, but it's tasty. And it's just that people are afraid to use these extreme things probably, but it's it's just really easy. Right? Does it have a little tang to it? A little bit. A little bit. But not too much though. Just just enough. You put the paprika on it. Paprika that'll help, that will help yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so what are these little sandwiches? <laughs> Those are turkey sliders, you know, with the cranberry. Uh, just you know uh, the cranberries on it. So we got little little patties. You can make them yourself, you can buy little patties, a breakfast patty or just a regular patty. Ready to go, like it, like it is. So cold, hot, whatever you want to do with it. And this is where I usually hang out. <laughs> this is the shrimp, right? <laughs> like, wow, should uh, I leave that plate? Nope. The marinade one is the olive oil. The olive oil starts bubbling a little bit. Put the garlic in it and the lemon. Take it off the stove and let it sit for about 12 hours. So that little bit ahead, you buy the so shrimp. So that's a good one to do that's ahead of time. That's a good one to do ahead okay. of time. You buy the cooked shrimp, so you don't have to mess with that either. You know, they're needle veins, so they're really hard oh. to eat. There's no cut on the back, so they're not soaking up any water. What's the best way to uh, defrost those? Running cold water, or just leave them in the fridge overnight, okay. and they should thaw out pretty good. And then just and then just regular, you know, when you get a cocktail out. sauce with that, and you're good to go. It's a lot of laboring for Labor Day. It really <laughs> doesn't take much. This took me maybe you know about an hour to prep all this. Yes, but so the, the, the chef help. always does a little extra sure, for all sure. those guests. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate you're more it. Welcome.